a big thing has been the settling in of the coaches and uh, really pleased with the, the way that's going and the mix. Um, Nick Easter, obviously, big decision made over the summer. I spoke to him very early on and said it was really important that he was happy with um, the way the guys in which he wanted to do things and within a week of that conversation he said I really want to focus on the coaching he's taken to it like a duck to water as I knew he would Graham's come in Graham Roundtree made a huge difference uh, in again freshening things up Mark Mapletoff's relishing the head coach role and we've been really forensically looking at the way that we're looking to play and uh, trying to take a few adjustments to take the thing forward so I'm really really happy with it I have to say yeah as far as the psychologist is concerned, I uh, made a full-time appointment there. Peter Kruger, somebody I know really well and absolutely crucial. Uh, I was on record as saying for me a few months ago that I felt the mental side of things massive in sport and he'll be and is working very hard on two sides really. Shared mental mindset as a group in terms of making sure that we're getting things right on field that way but also um, looking at well at, at the bigger picture in terms of the whole culture and uh, trying to work very, very hard on that behaviours, values. Uh, trying to make sure that we really, frankly, have gone back to basics on that side of things. New player development manager full time, but that's about trying to make sure the guys are with me for a certain number of hours in the week. But you know, there's 168 of those, and you know, getting things right lifestyle-wise in terms of everything that they're doing, that's important. Welfare is really important. Um, so he's actually uh, helping and uh, uh, complementing the um, the development of culture as well. Um, we've also doubled the, the amount of uh, investment on nutrition as well. I'm very excited at the moment. We haven't got the uh, construction started yet, but new gymnasium next door to the offices at Guildford. Again, I think it's going to make a massive progression in the way that the guys work on site. Hopefully that should be in place by next month. America was uh, a really, really good week. Uh, in the end, we didn't play. It was uh, training, but when you get that situation, you're actually able to do more intense training because you're not petering down towards a game. Um, I didn't hear too many complaints, if any, from the players, and therefore it was about you know really enjoyable environment to do things in. But the bottom line was we got an awful lot of work done. The international players have been away for a good while over the over the summer, and then they've been getting themselves a, a rest. So that was the first time I had an opportunity to to spend some time with them. They did have to leave a little early because they even had an England camp at the end of that week. But that was good to pull the whole group together. So an awful lot of work done on and off the field during that eight day break to America. It was really, really helpful. Um, a very, very good exercise. Might be one more before we get to the start of the season, uh, a couple of weeks away. We might have one more to announce, but um, yeah, there have been reasons. It was pretty well organised, the group, as far as the salary cap was concerned when I came into the position. But a couple of adjustments within the squad um, for different reasons um, have meant that there's been an ability to bring in Cameron and to bring in George, who I'm sure will complement the squad, put some pressure on people. And as I said, I would imagine one more. To be honest with you, there's already a huge amount of work going in towards what we're trying to do squad-wise for next summer. That's where there'll be that window for me to be able to make some meaningful progressions. And uh, there's been some progress in that side of things already, but clearly you know, focus uh, in the background has to be about that and Ed Spokes, the head of recruitment and myself and the coaches are working very, very hard on that, try to make sure that we can get things as good as we can with that window next summer. Um, but the focus obviously now getting into the start of the season, getting the squad right and taking things forward and really, really looking forward to it, I have to say.